Welcome back to my channel Easy and Inspire. In previous sessions, we have seen what is a sequential circuit and difference between latch and flip flop and RS latch. In today's session, we are going to discuss about D latch. So, why we are going for D latch? Because there is a drawback in SL latch. We know that. So, this is the SL latch we have designed using NOR gates. So, in this SL latch, so 0, 1, when R is 1, the output is resetted so output is 0 observe state is reset state when s is equal to 1 then output is seted to 1 that is nothing but set state so if s and r both are equal to 1 then it is invalid we know so sometimes it is 0 and sometimes it is 1 and it is going to be repeated this condition is invalid in sr latch that is called as race around condition observe here that is called as race around condition so to overcome this drawback we are going for d latch observe carefully to overcome this drawback we are going for d latch so this is for nor gates so when we are using nand gates to design sr latch then both inputs must be zero to get race around condition so if you want this clearly once again check for SR latch here. So, it is clear that D latch is designed to overcome the drawback of SR latch. So, observe this is the D latch. So, D latch is having only one input. So, in SR latch, we are having two inputs. One is set, second one is reset. In D latch, only one input we are taking. This is the block diagram of D latch. This is D latch. Observe carefully. So, so this is the block diagram of D latch. Again, I am drawing this as this one. So, observe carefully. So, I will take a pen. So, this part, this part is nothing but SR latch. So, this is SR latch. So, for this SR latch, I am taking a single input. This single input is directly giving to S pin and it is inverted and it is giving to R pin. So, if it is 1, observe carefully, it is 1, then 1 is directly going to S and 1 is inverted and 0 is going to R. So, this is D latch block diagram. So, I am taking here two types of D latches. First one is without enable pin here with enable so there is one more pin that is nothing but e enable with enable without enable so with enable d latch is also called as gated d latch so this is block diagram of d latch so we can use this one or this one i'll explain these two clearly so we know that d latch is called as data latch or delay latch and it is also known as transparent latch so i will prove this in my next slide so it is one of the simplest latches so we know latch and flip flop both are used to store the data so flip flop and latch use it to store one bit data listen carefully these two are used to store one bit data so this is about d latch block diagram Next, we will see circuit diagram or logic diagram of D latch. So, this is the logic diagram of D latch. If you observe this carefully, this part is nothing but SR latch. So, this SR latch is joined with some direct input and inverted input. So, now this circuit is called as D latch. So, this is without enable, there is no enable pin here. So, to operate this one, we need to know the truth table of NOR gate. So, this is NOR gate. So, NOR gate truth table. Consider, so only single input, either 0 or 1. First, I am taking 0 as my input. 
okay i'll explain okay first my input is zero consider so zero is going to here so zero and one is going to here this is one so if you observe these two carefully one zero so zero is one input so if another input is zero then output is one if another input is one output is zero so i am not going to consider this one so again here one so one input is one so whatever be the second input so either one or zero whatever it may be output is zero so consider this one so whatever be the next input is it results zero so zero is going to this pin and zero 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 input to nor gate it results one observe carefully d is zero s is zero s zero r is one so r is one means output is resetted see this is output this is inverted output if you observe these two carefully this is output this is inverted output so same as sr latch so d is zero d is zero q is zero q bar is one so it totally it is nothing but reset condition so this is reset condition next we will see same okay one minute okay next i am going to take one as my input so next i will take one as my input one is directly going to s and inverted so zero is going to r similar to the previous state so one and what are the input may be so one and another input it results zero zero and zero observe this zero is going like this zero and zero results one so d input is one so s is one output is setted so output is set to one observe d is one q is one so automatically q bar is zero this is set state previous one is reset state this is about d latch block diagram and operation if you observe this carefully so if you observe this carefully so listen d is zero so here i am giving zero as input same input is going to the output in first condition next i am taking one as my input so again one is going here and it is one so this latch is called as transparent whatever we give input it is going to the output again one input one output so this is called as transparent latch i think it is clear for you this is d latch with enable condition observe here this is the circuit diagram of d latch with enable so this is the enable pin so if you see this one carefully so this is sr latch this half is sr latch so for this sr latch we are mentioning two extra input two extra inputs one is d second one is e two inputs so i am taking two and gets here so these two are directly going to this one and here d is inverted and going to this one so this is my d latch with enable or d latch with gated one so gated d latch so many names so if you observe this carefully how it is going to be operated so here one pin that is nothing but enable pin this plays a very important role here enable so enable so if it is one then only this circuit is activated and it results output if it is zero then this circuit is not activated then output is same so that is nothing but remains constant nothing but no change condition listen carefully so if it is one then only this circuit is activated and it results output 
if it is zero so it is deactivated and it remains constant as previous outputs so i'll explain these two clearly so first i am taking enable zero and so here i am taking zero zero and zero so zero is here again this zero is here zero inverted and one is here so this is and gate for and gate we know two inputs must be one then only output becomes one so check root table of and gate so two inputs must be one then only output becomes one remaining all conditions it results zero so one zero to and gate results zero 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 to and gate results zero so observe this is sr latch for this sr latch i am taking zero zero as input we know sr latch with zero zero inputs results no change condition so if enable is zero then this circuit output is no change condition whatever the previous output it results the same output okay next i am taking enable as zero and data as one okay zero is here one is here so one inverted and zero is here so zero zero are my inputs to end gate it results zero zero one again it results zero 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 inputs to sr latch we know that is nothing but no change condition so observe carefully if enable is zero if enable is zero then this state is nothing but no change state so d is zero or one so it is not at all a matter if enable is zero output is remains same as previous output that is nothing but no change condition so next we will see the important cases if enable is one so then only the circuit is going to be activated so consider if enable is one and data is zero i am giving zero and circuit is enabled so one is here and zero is here zero is inverted so one is here one one so we know one one to end gate results one one zero to end gate results zero so again this is sr latch with one zero as inputs we know sr latch with one zero one is first input second input either zero or one so it results zero whatever be the second input may be it results zero again i am giving this zero here so zero zero it results zero so observe d is zero e is one enable is one data is zero then output is zero inverse of output is so zero zero sorry it is one so one so see this is my input this is my enable so this is my enable this is my input this is output input is zero output is zero that is nothing but reset state so previous output whatever it may be either one or zero it is resetted to zero this is reset state so next similarly i am taking here enable activated and data is one one and i am giving one as my input okay one 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 so one is inverted zero zero one of end gate results zero one one of end gate results one again sr with zero one one and either zero or one it results zero so zero and zero results one so data is one so output is one this is input this is output data is one output is one so it is nothing but set state so to explain all this make sure that so be aware of truth tables of nor gate and end gate so learn these truth tables then only it is easy to answer all these truth tables and i am again this i am again simplifying this to this one listen so again i am taking this as this one nothing but simplified version of truth table so if you observe this carefully if you observe this carefully 
So if enable is zero, whatever be the input here, data is whatever either zero or one. If enable is zero, if enable is zero, either zero or one, it remains no change. So I am simplifying this as this, and these four remains constant like one one. If data is zero, output is zero. If data is one, output is one. So this is nothing but inverse of output. No need to consider this one here. So data, this is input, this is output. That is nothing but reset. Input, output. It is nothing but set. This is about logic diagram of D latch with enable truth table of D latch and simplified truth table of D latch. So make it clear. So if you want, again watch this video. In next class, I will explain what is a flip-flop and properties of flip-flop. Thank you.